travelers, I'm Anne's daughter Laleco and I'm here in Turkey for three weeks and so this is all I've got is my carry-on and I'm halfway through my trip so I thought I'd do this video at this point to see how I'm going. I'm about to move to a city, different Airbnb, so I'm all packed up my care bear because I always take my care bear international. This is my wash and wear is looking a bit more ragged so basically I've bought two bras one I'm wearing I bought four pairs of underwear Wait, these are all Reno underwear so they should dry quite quickly literally just I'm drying did some laundry this morning so this is just drying under the heat pump now so it can be packed away this is my lily silk dress which I bought on the Black Friday sale and I've done a video about this I'm actually wearing this here as a nightgown but I have definitely worn it to work as a long skirt over winter. I also bought a bra bag because some of these places where you're staying will have washing machines, which is what I've got here. And if it's got a low setting or a wool, I put it on the wool setting. But if there's a hand wash setting, throw it in your bra bag and then you can just wash it. At a previous place, I did hand wash in the sink. Then I've got my adapter, which is plugged in charging my phone right now. That lives down there. Then I've got this one packing cube. Ugh. I'll go through that in a sec. This is my sock, my MacBook charger, and then this is my electronic. All pairs of socks in here. Two of them are my thin. I'm wearing a pair today. My thin merino Mons Royale socks. I've done a video on these. I need to charge this. My camera battery charger actually takes up a lot of space. Apple adapter and a reader for my camera in, but I haven't actually used that yet. Microphone. This is the first time I've used this packing cube. I bought these on Bow Pals, but as you can see, it is a compression packing cube. I don't have many clothes. It is winter, so really you just see my jacket all the time. I've got a pair of jeans, I've got a cashmere sweater, I've got my pink Katmandu merino thin top. This is my icebreaker singlet, which I have done a video about and is actually great for layering. I'll link all these in the description box below if I've done videos on them. This is another Katmandu top. This is a pair of a new pair of work pants that I bought from Marks and Sparks in Istanbul. So that's added. And then my cashmere turtle next week. Oh, and obviously then the clothes that I'm wearing. So this is just a pair of blue pants. And then this is actually a thermal from MacPack, which was like so cheap I bought it in China. It's clearly a very old version of. But this is what I'm wearing today. And that's it. So clearly I'm on rotate. I'm either wearing jeans, these blue pants, or my leggings and one of those three top because I'm like halfway through my trip obviously I've worn everything <laughs> this really there is a little bit of room on top here where I could still pack something I think the packing cube's been really helpful because the away suitcase which I do have a video on has this compression thing as well it doesn't compress so well with such a bulky packing cube at this point it didn't spew over when I left got some money in here that I can exchange I also have a little wallety thing this carries my passport when I'm not using my passport which is obviously most days but then it's easy to find even though it's black got a spare cord for my phone and then if I was going to stay in a hostel, which I haven't done yet, then I've got a lock, a few tissues. So that I hadn't planned on, but because it's a guarantee. And I wish they'd kind of emailed it to me, but they haven't. My laptop lives in the middle. You haven't seen my video on participating in dental tourism here in, in Turkey, then please do check that out. It's linked in the description box below. Because this is one downside of the clamshell design. <laughs> is I, you have to unzip it quite far even though I'm lucky because this bit has still got some give in it so I can actually sort of unzip round to here and then I can just pull this out it is a pain to put back in though I'm not gonna lie you can see with the compression that it does actually push down into that empty space that I'm not using right in the top half now this is a bit fuller than when I left <laughs> because I have done some shop and I'm gonna add my new mouth guard bought some laundry detergent with me because obviously I knew I was going to be doing some laundry I'm glad I did I bought some of these with me from China I bought two packs with me and the first Airbnb I stayed at was really cold so I actually had them in bed with me overnight because I was so cold these have been so nice they don't quite last 12 hours 
but they last quite a while. You know, to shove in your pocket, you can stick it onto your clothing, so that's also an option as you're walking along in cold places. I've got a pair of slippers because I thought, oh, I'm staying in Airbnb's. I'll just take a pair of disposable slippers with me because I, I might use them during winter, but I haven't yet. Maybe in the next place. Bought some vitamins with me. These are just my normal moldy vitamins from the Kirkland, Kirkland brand, Costco. And then these are my vitamin C. That is not going to last long. This vitamin D I bought here. I have had to buy some moisturizer because you know, 100 mils is only so much. This is my Turkish towel that I bought at a market, so I'm wrapped about that. This is my bathroom bag, which I would normally have in the airplane anyway. <laughs> I've also picked up some of these because I haven't, because they're like cheap, and because I'm in an Airbnb, I can just, you know, grab a cup of coffee. Obviously, milk. This has got everything that I would just have on the plane, but all set of cleanser, tiny little thing. I'm hoping I don't gain too much more stuff. Packing cube comes from Kmart. I bought it years ago. It's so thin and flimsy. But honestly, for organization purposes, it just does the job. So this is kind of like my extra stuff. So I've got my pill. I bought the whole packaging because I'm hoping I can buy more of this here. And even though it's in Chinese, this is a brand I know I can get in the Middle East. So I'm hoping that they have this here. This is just my cloth, my glass. I have gone into a pharmacy here and bought some painkillers because painkillers are a little bit hard to get in China. So then for my carry-on for the aeroplane, I've never done this before, but it's working well. Canvas bag. Because then I can use this, and I have used it as a handbag, and also because when I go to the supermarket here, because you have to buy water, I can throw it in here. And because some places charge for plastic bag, nope. <laughs> also because it folds down quite, quite small and I can throw it in my jacket that I wear in one of the pockets. So because I'm flying today, I've got my e-reader charged up and I've got my noise cancelling headphone. Another packing cube. This was actually my carry-on for the long haul flight over here. Now this one is not a compressing one because it is a shoe bag. So I had this under the seat in front of me because I had my inflatable pillow, my Clorox wipes and my silk pillow case which I have used here. I just didn't use it last night because I wanted it dry and packed up ready to leave today. I actually bought a pair of shoes while I've been here. My carry-on is actually heavier than when I left. That means originally I only had one pair of shoes. On top I've got my carry because sometimes in airports it's really hot so I can clip my jacket onto the top. Oh, then I'm also traveling with this. This was great on long haul and it's also nice on days when it's not raining but obviously it's still cold here. Then my jacket. So the one nice thing about traveling in winter is that I can have this all contained within me. So I've got my Louis Vuitton, which I've talked about, it's a great little travel bag. Today I literally just have my wallet, passport, and lip balm, and a little bit of extra cash. I wear it crossbody for the most part, and I wear it under my, zipped under my jacket. I've bought this cheap watch, which I need a new one of, because it doesn't keep time that well. It is not 222. I'm out, I'm out, I'm wearing it like this. And just have it, it's a pain because it is like right up under your boob. But, as I say, then it means I'm completely contained. And I've got everything on. I have a neck warmer, I've got my beanie, I've got gloves in this pocket, um, I've got some money in here, I've got some painkillers, and I also have another, purely because I have today, another little reusable shopping bag. This, I'm actually going to put this in my canvas bag and that's my carry-on that goes underneath my feet in the aeroplane. And I keep it wide open because I need to grab out my passport. I will actually have this probably attached to the top of the bag. That's how I've survived three weeks in Turkey in the middle of winter. Really it's reusing outfits, making sure that you keep it on top of your washing. But in terms of ease, gee, it's been great to just be able to lift your bag. I totally recommend it. 